<laughs> Welcome back. It's a brand new season. Hyundai A-League season 2014 slash 15. And it's episode one of the pitch in the preseason. So this is fantastic. I'm wearing a beanie because I got hit in the head with a hockey stick. You shouldn't see the stick. I didn't break it. Um, it is Jared here, and I'm really excited to be back. I've changed positions on the couch, and uh, we're going to give you another weekly video to update you on all of the happenings of Adelaide United. And I've been pumped to talk to this bloke because it was announced a little while ago we had a couple of new signings. Farewell and good luck to the players who have left the club. But Jimmy Jago is here. How are you, man? Not too bad, mate. Yourself? Yeah, really good, thanks, mate. Now, uh, first of all, how did all this come about? Because we knew, look, a few of us knew before it was announced that you were thinking about coming here. So what happened? Um, oh, well, Adelaide just, obviously, I was coming to the end of my contract at Victory, and um, there was a bit of interest from Adelaide, and yeah, sort of as soon as I, I heard of the interest, I was interested as well, and sort of as soon as it got to the point where I could sign a contract, which was in January, we went ahead and did it, so. All right, yeah. I'm just going to get this microphone, because it looks like you've put it, like, next to your bottom, but that's all right, I'm just going to, this is the other microphone. Um, so, is, I guess what I wanted to ask, because the... Uh, this is something which we almost knew about. There were rumours before it was announced. It must be difficult because it's the, the world of football where you do know that uh, movement and transactions happen, but you couldn't tell your friends really. You couldn't tell uh, your fans when you knew yeah. something was potentially happening. Yeah, of course. I mean, we, I mean obviously, like my close friend, friends and my family and that, because I, I had to speak to them, you know, about the decision and that. But it was hard. You know, I let Melbourne Mitchell know as soon as it was done because I thought that was the right thing to do. Um, and, you know, I had a few people, you know, asking questions, oh, what are you doing next year? And it was hard, but it's just sort of part and parcel. Yeah, okay, so what do you think so far? Pre-season, uh, you, you've arrived over here, started, it's been going for almost 10 days now. What are your thoughts? Yeah, good, I'm really enjoying it. The, um, the boss isn't here yet, so it's, I've had a bit of time to settle in, which has been good. But yeah, all the boys are really friendly and they've you know, helped me settle in, so I'm enjoying it. Uh, final serious question, and I'll explain what we're doing this season on the pitch on Reds TV. Um, what do you think you as a player can bring to Adelaide United? Um, well, I mean, hopefully, you know, I think with a squad of 23, you know, there's a lot of competition for spots. And, you know, I want to add, add to that. I want to be playing this year, as, as does everyone. And, you know, I think that the reason... You know, I think Adelaide were interested in me is because they think that I suit suit the way they play, and so hopefully I can bring, you know, bring some more some more competition and you know some ability in the middle of the park. Actually, I had one more question. Um, did it attract you here because you, you noticed last year in Josette playing a lot of the the younger players like um, Jordan Elsie um, and Awa Mabil coming through, and we had um, Constantinopoulos and Opolis, so we couldn't fit his mm -hmm. surname onto the back of his kit. Um, so the young players are getting an opportunity, maybe opportunities that weren't presented to you at your former club. Yeah, definitely. That was, I mean, the two big things are the way they played, which is you know the way I love to play. And that, you know, that Josip did give chances to young players. And, you know, it just you look at the players, that how much he improved the players while he was here. And, you know, I spoke spoke to some of the boys that were here and, you know, everyone, no one had a bad word to say about him. So, yeah, it was definitely a big factor. All right, wonderful. I am here with uh, Jimmy Jago. And uh, so I mentioned on Reds TV, this is the pitch, episode one. Uh, we are going to separate it into three parts this year. So part two is social media questions. How do we follow you on Twitter and Instagram, mate? What are your, your handles? Uh, pretty simple, just at Jimmy Jago. So pretty, pretty yeah, pretty very simple. simple stuff. Yeah. Very simple. Oh, sorry, talking to the mic. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, part three is something I'll tell you in a sec. So let's go to social media. Okay, welcome back. Social media time with uh, new signing. Don't look at this, mate. No, I need help. No, 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 no. With uh, Jimmy Jago, new player for Adelaide United. Okay, so we're going to go to Facebook first, mate. Jordan Riley says, do you prefer living in Adelaide or Melbourne? Um, He's been here one day, mate. Come on. All right. Yeah, it, so. It's early days, but I'm going to go with Adelaide just because of the traffic or lack of. Yeah, there's no traffic here. Um, Braden Thompson says, who was your idol growing up as a footballer? Um, Stevie G. Yeah, okay. Um... Sam Auckland, hopefully I said your name right. Sorry, mate. Favourite food? Favourite food? Um, anything with chicken, really. I'm a big chicken lover. Big chicken so. fan, okay. Um, Mark Hansen says, who is Jared Walsh? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I don't uh, know either, mate. So. <laughs> Jimmy! All right, uh, Twitter. Let's go to Twitter now. Now, this is Liam. Um, what are your thoughts on Melbourne Victory? So he's not asking you to bag them, but leaving them in the position they will be in for the new season because they've, they've lost a few mm. players as well. 
yeah, look, I think I think it'll be it'll be an interesting year for him. Obviously, you know, Musky gets a chance to build his own squad, which I think you know will be good for him. But you know, they're always. I mean, every year they're as you come up to the season, they're one of the challenges. So I think it'll be no. No different this year, so I just can't wait to play him. And no matter what, um, even when he's really happy, Kevin Musket will look angry. Um, and uh, Jack, actually, Jack, good question. Jack, well done, mate. Um, we are playing a game at the new Adelaide Oval against Melbourne Victory, so you must be really looking forward to that. Firstly, hoping to get the start or in the squad, but the Adelaide Oval is spectacular, mate, the best stadium in the world. Is, is that right? Is that... Apart from Cooper Stadium, of course, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't wait. As soon as the fixtures come out, I was like that, looking for when we played, we played victory. But it should be. I haven't been inside Adelaide Oval yet, but I've just sort of seen it from the outside. It does look nice, so I really can't wait. Just hopefully I get picked. You'll get picked, mate. <laughs> I'll sort it out. I'll have a chat to Josette for you. All right, so part two, done. Social media, you can always follow the club. Follow Jimmy as well, and uh, you can always ask questions. Let's go to part three. Part three of the pitch is called additional time. You, you see what we did there? It's like a football pun because, anyway, it doesn't matter. We're doing it with Jimmy Jago here, and uh, we get to ask a couple of really quick questions, mate, and you have to answer them really quickly. Makes sense, yeah? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Question one. Does your mum call you James when you're in trouble? Yes. Which <laughs> <laughs> is too often. James Jago. Okay, um, how long does it take you to do your hair, mate? It's honestly not that long. Okay, because a lot of players look like they have a haircut just before they play each game. Yeah, but it's I think people build it up a bit. It's not, it's not that bad, is it? Mate, I don't have any hair. I'm so jealous. I've got no <laughs> hair. So I haven't had a haircut in years. Um, what number are you going to be this year? Do you know yet? Yeah, 18. Very nice. Um, oh, wait a second. That means something else. Let's, let's keep on moving. Um, what team are you on FIFA? Tottenham. Very nice. Do you, mm. do you update the roster or do you keep Gareth Bale there? No, nah, you have to be fair and update the roster. Okay, not too bad. Uh, what player do you model yourself on? If, if I said to you, um, what player, whether in the EPL, uh, in the A-League, or over in other leagues, do you like to you know, model your, your game style on? Um, well, as like we spoke about before, Stevie G was one of my idols. So, you know, he was always one that I did. But as I've grown up, and I just literally look at all, you know, all different types of midfielders, like Iniesta's one. And you just sort of pick up bits and pieces from different players. So You know that Cameron Watson has a Stevie G book next to his bed? Like, that's his nighttime reading. Oh, yeah. Well, I've actually read, read his book as well. So I don't awesome. think Cameron Watson knows how to read, though. So. <laughs> um, can you understand what Isaiah says? If he speaks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, finally, have you learned to hate Melbourne Victory yet? Because there's only one answer to this question. Yeah, of course. I'm getting, All I'm getting, right! Getting, well done. Okay, now, what we did last year is we hugged at the end of uh, every pitch, but there were some complaints um, from uh, Fabio Ferreira, from Isaias, from Thirio, from Cameron Watson, from like, everybody basically complained and went to the HR department. So uh, what I thought I'd do, because it is uh, 2014 slash 15, is take a selfie and uh, we'll put it on all the social media sites. Are you cool with that? Yeah, no giant. All right, let me get my phone. Um, just just got to go through Snapchat. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, Jimmy Jago, thank you very much for joining me on the pitch episode one, 2040, 15. Here we go. Ah! All right, bro. Good luck for the season, man. Nice Cheers, to meet mate. you. Thank you. Hey, uh, don't forget to uh, share this on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Tinder, anything you like. We'll be back <laughs> next week with uh, some more new signings. And... <laughs> I love you. I love my boys back. All right, see you. The mic's not plugged in.